Hi, it's Daniel again and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the WP Social SEO Booster features within your posts or pages. It doesn't matter which one you're using. We are going to use a post, add a new one, So I'm going to use a um, review. I have prepared some dummy content here. I'm going to paste that in here. And then if I scroll down, um, you can see the WP Social SEO Booster Meta Box. I'm going to check the review one. And the first settings there you can choose if you want to display the review information above your content, actual content, both content from here or below. I'm going to choose at the top. I want to show it at the top. So then just put in the name of the product I'm going to review. The product type I could WordPress plugin. You can leave that empty, that's optional. The plugin version, you can leave it empty if you like, it's optional too. Then the author name, this means the, the name of the person who writes this review. If you want to use the same as, it, as you attached um, your Google profile to this article, then you just leave it empty. The same with the date, you can enter a date here or just leave it empty to use the actual date. Then I will give it a rating. Then the product author, this is also optional. You just can enter it if you like. And of course here you would use your affiliate link or cloaked affiliate link or whatever or the normal link <coughs> whatever you like then the price of the product I'm just going to put something in here and then the currency that's just for for Google so that they know what they have to display on your um, within their search engine listings and then you can post a summary of the review I'm going just to use a snippet of this dummy content. That's it. Then I'm going to publish. And then view post. Uh, as you can see at the top, I choose on the top, then I have the, the information about the product, short information, then the summary and here I would have the actual review or post content or whatever you want to have there as content. Now we are going to look how it looks like in Google. For that Google does provide a testing tool and I'm going to show you the URL here. So you will also find the URL within the, the manual but this one would be the URL you can go to and test your sites before you publish them or before you release them or before they get listed within Google. Okay, I'm going to copy and paste the URL of the page I want to test into the first field and click on preview and right now you can see all the information which Google does receive, it does even receive more about our page and about the review we did. There are a lot of information they are going to collect for their search engine listings. And here at the top, this is the actual listing, like it would be on the search engine. Doesn't, don't look at that one, it, it always displays in German because I'm living in Switzerland, but it would of course display that in English for you when you're in an English speaking country 
or whatever like or in another language if you are in another language <coughs> and this is really powerful like that you get your search engine listings stand out from all the other ones and also for Google it's much easier to, f to find out what is your page about I mean if you are going to turn off the plugin and go back and test it again then you see there are just a sm uh, it looks much different and Google doesn't receive a lot of information about our website but depending on the theme if the theme is optimized for for it or not I'm going to activate that again and then show you that difference again so as you can see the year it's really a huge difference what Google will receive not just Google also other other um, search engines or also the, the social networks they are using some of these snippets to get more information about your website the same can be done with all other different snippets we are providing here so with product business people receipts software videos and events it just it just need to fill out all the information it's really nicely explained here and it's not that difficult and then just fill some fill it out and go and test it on Google so I'm going to look for something else I can show you software so th this is the software listing I have chosen here below the content I have the content first and then I have about the product and when we go to Google and check how the our software listing does look like then you can see if you have software or apps or whatever you want to, to give information on, on on applications then it will also display the icon the review the price the systems and what type of of product you entered within the meta box and again there are a lot of you don't need to to look at that that's just from the age feed it's um, depending on a team on the theme okay here you can see there is a lot of information these are the Google for custom search engine visibility of a custom search engine so if you can see that there's a lot of information again they're going to give to the search engine so to determine how to list our sites or pages video is just being used for the search engine to better understand the product you won't see anything on the product actually it's just going to add that to the code and if you have a product if you sell something then you can see our vlog admins in stock and then the price will be also shown within the listing and then the receipt here it's an example of a receipt I'm going to preview that uh, takes it oh now you can see now that there the icon will be shown again the time it takes to prepare and cook the the ones that it receives the, the ground month holidays apple pie and then the calories this everything will be shown on the search engines listing so that's it's really easy you just need to follow here all the different instructions enter all the information needed here and the more information you fill out the better uh, the more information there are search engines to receive and 
the better will your your listings will look much better if they receive everything they need. That's it for the WP SEO booster plugin. Um, if you have any questions, go please go to the members area and post them into the forum, and we will do our best to answer them as fast as possible. Thanks and have a great time.